My name is Francesca Furia, I'm 26 and I'm from Italy where I got both my bachelor and my master in engineering sciences and I'm doing my master, my PhD here in uh, Brussels at the VUB. The whole project, smart project, is about smart and soft materials for robotics applications and each one of us has to deal with something. And, uh, specifically, I'm doing uh, the optimization of the self healing polymers for the additive manufacturing uh, applications. Additive manufacturing is usually used with commercial thermoplastics, which are based on either on crystallization or on other processes that are very fast, and it's possible to make objects that are very complex or custom made. When we use self filling polymers, uh, which is the objective for my PhD, uh, things get very much more complicated because they're based on a chemistry reaction, which is much slower compared to what can happen with commercial filaments. So my objective is to improve, to study the inner properties of the film polymers and see which uh, value and which properties are important for the additive manufacturing technique and most importantly how can improve them. It is important to use self film polymers for this application and mainly as end use for robotics applications to improve the life, uh, the use of life for the um, ro robotics components. So for example when we use a um, component that is made in silicon and it gets a cut or a scratch most likely we cannot use it anymore. If we substitute the silicon with self filling polymers, we can repair the object and keep using it at the same, with the same mechanical properties. The newest thing about my project is to uh, the fact that I really exploit the, the properties of the material and I try to understand them in order to be able to 3D print them. So um, the combination with two different bonds is very innovative and also the, what I can achieve with the fillers, it's something that was not possible before. 3D printing looks like a very easy technique to use, but actually everyone that makes to use 3D printing knows that there is full of struggles in it. I believe my project is of significance because we can push the boundaries of the materials towards the application. So I believe that even if one we cannot use a specific material for one application, we can still adapt its properties for another one and still obtain very good results. So this can be used both in material science as a more deeper uh, study of the material properties and the logical properties, and also in robotics application for, uh, for what can be done with these materials and for the fact that they are uh, uh, 3D printable, self feeling and that we can also add other properties. Like for example, one of my materials is conductive. So this can be really used in robotics applications. Working together with international scientists is extremely exciting and it really puts you out of your comfort zone and it pushes you. But what is more exciting about this project is not the fact that we are international, but the fact that we have come from different backgrounds. So it, it's really interesting to see how Either we are all in the same project and we are all the same age, there are still a lot of boundaries related to just the different background and a lot of things you can learn from each other. 